Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 1.1, 7th question, chapter is integer of class 7. The question is, in a magic square, each row, column and diagonal have the same sum. Check which of the following is a magic square. So we have two different squares here. We are going to add up the each number in the row and column and diagonal and see if the sum is equal. Like if I, after adding, everything should be same. Like when you add each numbers in each row and in each column, the sum has to give a same answer. So let's start with the first question. First, I'm going to find out this row. So in case of row, that is, this is called row, right, from here. So we're going to add the numbers in the row and we'll see if the sum is same or not. So first one we have here is 5. I'm talking about this row. So here we have 5 plus minus 5 then plus 0. So you can see that when you're adding a same integer like 5 and minus 5 when you add up they'll get cancel each other the sum will be equal to 0. Right? We have a 0 it, is, it will not going to change the answer. So 5 plus minus 5 will be 0. They have a opposite sign so when you subtract it they'll get cancelled out. The next one is minus 1 plus minus 2 plus 3. So let us solve this one. Now the first two numbers if you see they have a same sign. So integer with same sign or the number with the same sign means we have to do addition. So 1 plus 2 will be 3 but the sign of the number will be the same sign that is minus sign. So minus 3 and then we have this 3 plus 3. Now you can see we have a same number that is minus 3 and 3 when you add it it will become 0. The next we have here is this last one last row. So minus 4 plus 7 plus minus 3. Now this will be equal to first we are going to add the numbers with the same sign. So minus 4 minus 3 are going to add because they have a same sign. So whenever you have a number with the same sign we will do addition. So 4 plus 3 will be 7 and the sign will remain same that is negative sign. So minus 7 we got and this 7. Okay, you can see that minus 7 plus 7 when you add up it will cancel out the answer will be 0. So that was about the row. Now we're going to go for the column. Numbers in the column. So that is this this side we have to add. So first column is this. So when you add up it will be 5 plus minus 1 plus minus 4. So this is equal to. I'm going to add the number with the same sign. So minus 1 minus 4. The, the integer with the same sign right. So 1 plus 4 will be 5. We'll get 5 plus when you add up it will get minus 5 again number with the same different sign when you add up it will become 0 the next we have is minus 5 plus minus 2 plus 7 again minus 5 minus 2 will be equal to minus 7 they have a same sign so add it sign will remain same so minus 7 plus 7 will cancel out each other the answer will be 0 now the last row is this one so we have 0 plus 3 plus minus 3. So 0 will not want to change anything. So 3 plus minus 3 will become 0. So far we got answer 0. So now let us take the last one which is a diagonal. So if in diagonal also we got the answer 0 then we can say that square is magic square. So diagonal wise we are going to see. So the first one here is I am going to add this one. So it will be 5 plus minus 2 plus minus 3. So this is equal to 5 plus minus 2 minus 3. This integer have a same sign. So we'll get we'll add it. 2 plus 3 is 5. Sign will remain same which is negative. Now 5 plus minus 5 will become 0. The last column here is this one. This column we have to add. So sorry this diagonal we have to add. So it will be 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 4. Now this will be equal to 0 will not going to change the answer so I am not adding 0 here. Minus 2 minus 4 they have a same sign so we are going to add it 2 plus 4 is 6 and the sign will be minus. So we are not getting 0 here. So far we got answer 0 after adding all the numbers in the row, column and diagonal. One diagonal but in the last diagonal when you are adding up the numbers you are getting the minus 6 as an answer which means the first one the, uh, the square is not a magic square. So square is not magic square. 
if we if we would have got the zero as our answer for the last diagonal, then we can say that the square is magic square. But since we didn't get it, so the first one is not a magic square. So same thing we're going to do for the second question. We have to add the numbers in each row, column, and diagonal and see if the answers are same or not. So the first one here, I'm going to add the row. We have a row here. So in the first row, we have one plus minus four plus minus six so I'm going to add the number with the same sign so one plus four plus six is ten and the sign will be minus okay uh, because they have a same sign whatever sign you have you have to put it so it's minus sign now one plus minus ten so you have a number with a different sign when you have a number with different sign we have to subtract it so ten minus one will be nine but the sign will be of the number which is greater so ten is greater here its sign is negative so answer will be minus nine then the next row this one so here we have minus 10 plus minus 3 plus 4 so I'm going to add the integer with the same sign so 10 minus 10 minus 3 we have a same sign add it we'll get minus 13 plus 4 now we have, we have an integer with different signs to so subtract it 13 minus 4 is 9 but the sign is minus because 13 is greater its sign is negative the last row we have is 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 7. Minus 2 minus 7 are same integer so add it will get 9 and the sign will remain same so minus 9. So far we have got minus sign for each row. Now let us move on to the column. So in case of column, so the first column is this so 1 plus minus 10 plus 0 so 1 minus 10 they are integer with different signs to so subtract it 10 minus 1 is 9 but the sign will be of a number which is greater 10 is greater its sign is negative so we'll get minus 9 the next row this one so minus 4 plus minus 3 plus minus 2 now we have all the integer with negative signs so we're going to add all the numbers see if, if you see here 4 3 and 2 they have a same sign same sign means addition so add them 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 and the sign will remain same which is negative minus sign the next we have minus 6 plus 4 plus minus 7 now I'm going to add minus 6 and minus 7 because they have a same sign so 6 uh, plus 7 will be 13 and the sign will be minus sign and then plus 4 so this is equal to now we have an integer with different sign different sign means subtraction so 13 minus 4 will be 9 but the sign will be of a number which is greater 13 is greater its sign is negative so we'll get minus 9 now last one we have left is diagonal so we're going to check the diagonals first I'm going to check this diagonal from here so it will be 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 7 so I'm going to add the number with the same sign 3 plus 7 will be 10 so we'll get minus 10 now we have an integer with opposite sign or different sign to so subtract it so 10 minus 1 is 9 and the sign will be of a number which is greater which is 10 is greater its sign is negative so we got minus sign the same one now let us check the last this diagonal if we get this um, minus 9 then we can say the square is magic square so we have 0 plus minus 3 plus minus 6 so minus 3 minus 6 they have a same sign so add it will get 9 and the sign will remain same which is minus so you can see that we have got minus sign when we add all the numbers in a row column and diagonal so therefore we can say it is magic square if one answer or one sum is different than the other one then we can say it is not a magic square so i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching